Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to St. Mark's. If you're a guest with us tonight, it's great to have you and hope we can come again here to worship. Uh, good Friday. It is Good Friday because, quite honestly, it is good. It is good because of what Jesus has done for us. It is good because we come together here to worship him. It is good because it has been a defining moment in world history. We continue the tritium, as it is called, the three holy days. It began last evening with Monday Thursday. Uh, it comes from the Latin word uh, for mandate or the new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. Today, we remember the crucifixion of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the second holy day, the third Easter Sunday, the resurrection of our Lord. But we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Though on the back of your bulletin, you will see our schedule uh, for Easter Sunday. So please make note of that. But in the meantime, tonight, why was Jesus crucified? Well, the Roman Empire accused him of being a political insurrectionist. The religious establishment called him an infidel and heretic. The business community feared he would bankrupt and tank the economy. And others considered him a liar or lunatic. But Jesus was also crucified because it was foretold in the Old Testament. The prophets share with us that the Messiah, the Christ, would come for the redemption of Israel to be a light to all nations. We also know, in being the foretelling of the Old Testament, that Jesus came to defeat the powers of sin and Satan and death. So tonight, we behold the crucified God, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I invite you to turn to hymn 337, and please stand as we glorify our Lord, alas, and did my Savior bleed. for the prayer of confession. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, time after time, we turn to the shadows of sin and away from the light of your love. Forgive us, Lord. Help us to turn away from the paths of darkness and cling forever to the cross on which our Savior suffered and died for our salvation. Father of eternity, we are in no way worthy, Lord, but trusting in the loving promises of your Son, we pray that as we hear again the story of his passion, we may be cleansed by the fire of repentance and made new creatures through his blood. We pray in the name of our dear Lord, your Son, who died that we might live. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. As a reminder to continue the funding of this ministry, St. Mark's Lutheran Church, our offering boxes are at both exits as you leave today. If you wish to give online, you can do so by going to our church website, stmarkslutheranvw.com, or text 419-273-9947. When it was evening, he sat at the table with the twelve disciples, and as they were eating, he said, Truly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful, and began to say to him one after another, Is it I, Lord? He answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? He said to him, You have said so.
And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, Father, if thou art willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down upon the ground. And he came to the disciples, and he found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, thy will be done. And again he came, and he found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, 
saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I shall kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Hail, Master. And he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here?
And Pilate again said to them, Then what shall I do with the man whom you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him. And Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. One of the criminals who were hanged with him said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise.
And Jesus said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, innocent, and all the multitudes who assembled to see the sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned home in great sorrow.